Right, welcome to another video, and as you can see, we've got another ultimate guide for more spots and positions on Province. I've managed to find loads of new rooftops that you can get on, as well as loads of new ways to improve the previous spots shown in the previous video, where you don't need to use a vehicle or a tractor, and you can actually climb up yourself without a vehicle and still do it solo. So you can see right at the start here, this is me examining this uh, little hall on pathway, uh, and you know examining what I can climb on and see where I could potentially get up. And as you can see. I examined it perfectly and found a way to get up uh, and this is just showing you my process at the start here uh, in terms of what I'm looking for um, but of course look in the top comment I'll put a, a timestamp with all the key and best rooftop positions as well of course as well as of course a lot of smaller other ones I found uh, that will obviously always be at the end of the video but please do stick around because these spots are absolutely crazy and they're actually really easy to do once you get used to them so, you know, you just, it's just showing right at the start one or two little failed attempts just so you can see what I'm actually trying to go through, find out what is possible. Um, and then, of course, the other ones I'll show uh, much more quickly uh, and you can see. But you see they're trying to climb on the flag. It's very hard because um, you can only sit on the top uh, end of that and, you you know, you can't turn around and move on it otherwise you're going to fall off. So I come in from this light at a different angle and jump straight away, no movement, and boom, we can get up. Uh, this is a spot which wasn't shown previously in the previous video uh, and then I'll show you all the different places you can uh, indeed go with it uh, in just a second uh, but of course I managed to find here another way to get up to the exact same area uh, using this little fence and it shows literally the smallest amount of margins there and you can get up so no longer like in the previous video you have to destroy and break the op that you know the building in the center of the map to climb on top of it and to obviously run and jump or bayonet charge across this platform you can literally just climb up there from that little banister and therefore you can get easily straight away like that on top of all the rooftops uh, in this area uh, and of course you can go around uh, anywhere you want uh, this links up perfectly to the other spot i just showed right at the start and so there's basically effectively two ways you can get up to this rooftop uh, you know you can explore basically all the rooftops around this area from those two different ways of getting up and so that is what I'm going to just show quickly here is just the different areas you can go uh, and you can see me here just trying uh, because you have to stand around the edges of the building because obviously there is invisible barriers I'm just testing uh, which buildings will obviously allow you the closer you go to the edge to, to, to go uh, in certain directions uh, of course you can't go there uh, but you can uh, bayonet charge uh, I believe you can actually make this as, as a normal jump as well but the bayonet charge just you know make sure I get it done first time for the video Uh, and what I'm going to show in just a second is something I tried multiple times uh, in uh, the previous video or for the previous video is these uh, these buildings here on the back you can actually get uh, on onto the uh, edge of the rooftop uh, and go so far along before the invisible barrier uh, does go beyond the, the edge of the rooftop uh, and push you off uh, but you can see here I'm going to jump across in just a second uh, so you can go obviously across either side uh, so you can go along all of this side um, you can jump across the other one as well if you want uh, and I'll go back on myself and then jump onto the other side uh, and of course therefore you know that's a new spot which wasn't previously shown uh, as well but yeah if you have watched this far um, you know if you don't want to watch all the different areas right where I'm going to and you just want to see how to get up uh, then do use the timestamps in the bottom because there are some crazy spots I've found uh, including one where you can get up towards the castle almost uh, and being out of bounds pretty much uh, which I will show later on in the video so use the timestamps um, and you know obviously drop smash a like straight away from me if you can because uh, this obviously takes a lot of time to do uh, and yeah we'll get into the next spot now now this is probably the most crazy spot I found um, so here's the most s simpler way than the previous video of how to get up onto this wall and then out of some dumb luck I managed while trying to climb up from here um, it glitched out and I found a way to climb up onto the rooftop um, I tried this for literally half an hour an hour when previously trying to find a glitch around this area uh, but you know there we are it worked that one time you keep trying and there's always a different way uh, to get up uh, and so I'm going to show all the different ways here uh, different buildings you can get onto uh, but stick around because this spot gets even more crazy you can get up onto the really high wall over the other side of this building and pretty much or if, it's, if it wasn't out of bounds you could literally go to the castle that's up on the hill um, but from this spot which you get up to you can literally go on to pretty much all the buildings in the center of the map uh, you could jump across uh, to this one here uh, you climb all the way across uh, you can then 
crossover. You, if you look at the shading on the tiles here, look, you can see the lighter bit is where you can walk. Uh, if you use a bayonet charge then, you can bayonet charge onto the buildings over straight over the road by there. Um, I didn't show it because you know it's in the previous video. And that building on the corner on the right is one which you can already blow up and climb onto anyway. Uh, but from the start of this spot, you can you know get to these buildings from the, the first buildings. Uh, you can bayonet charge from here over to the buildings uh, that are opposite me now. And uh, you can bayonet charge even further to the buildings that are even further down. Uh, so this here is just showing you, uh, this is what I was looking at and examining. So I climbed up on the left there, up onto that uh, middle bit. I was looking there at the light, the flag, the wooden uh, post sticking out, and of course the rooftop which you can grab onto. I was originally trying to jump from the light to the flag to the lamp, to, you know, to the wooden post and onto the roof. Uh, but I don't, it probably is possible, but I couldn't get it to work. Uh, but you'll see in a second, I tried a bayonet charge from the top of the roof to either the wooden pole or the uh, corner of the building. And boom, we managed to get up onto the other side uh, of these buildings. Unfortunately, the corner, uh, which is coming up in just a second, would be absolutely perfect if you could get in there. Uh, but there's a barrier blocking you off. Because um, if you could get in there, you're pretty much covered on all sides. You can't really, really blow up the buildings, so you, you know they can't. Enemies can't blow up the buildings to get out you that way. Um, but yeah, again, another side of the rooftop uh, and roof tops you can get on. Um, and this is where it gets absolutely crazy. You can see me sort of now uh, figuring out, you know, where ca could I possibly go next? Uh, and I'm going to try a crazy bayonet charge uh, to the edge of the map. And you'll see we managed to get on pretty much an invisible ledge where you're basically just inv you're just floating in the air uh, and can climb across uh, all the different ways. Uh, and here we're going to try that bayonet charge over here. And uh, you'll see when I look down in just a few moments time, uh, it's pretty much uh, a really big invisible ledge. Um, so it looks like I'm floating on nothing, uh, but I am standing on quite a big invisible ledge. And from here, you can go both ways. You can go all the way this way, where the wall will become uh, invisible and you can literally go out of bounds. Uh, but there isn't any way you can really go, uh, obviously, because and I've tried to find a lot of different safe, safe spots, but there's just nothing uh, there. You are going to die. Um, and then if you go the other way, you've got this bush which you can hide in, which is just... Uh, that's just crazy as it is because you're not going to be seen. No one's going to look up to start with, and even if they do look up, they aren't going to be able to see you, especially if you're wearing a ghillie suit. Uh, and then this is where it gets crazy. Unfortunately, you can't go any. I haven't been able to find anywhere out of bounds, but you can use that wooden post to climb out of the map. Um, and of course, I can't find anywhere to go. I tried jumping down here, uh, you can see, but there's an invisible barrier blocking me off from trying to get to the, the safe area. Um, so you can probably do this spot and try yourself and try and find a safe area outside of the map. But you can see here we're pretty much as close to the castle on the hill as you can get. Um, if you do go the other way, you can see here there is just one further place you can go. Um, if you do a bayonet, really hard bayonet charge uh, on this uh, fence post, uh, you can go across to another ledge on the left. where There is an out of bounds spot you can get to, but it's absolutely useless because you can't see anyone, shoot anyone, and you're stuck to die pretty much but you know I'm just showing uh, everything that is possible but yeah again if you've watched this far please smash like straight on the video for me if you haven't already again it takes ages to do these videos find all these spots put them together commentate on them upload etc uh, etc et so that will really help me out um, and then in just a second we will show you the bayonet charge which will come right here uh, it's very difficult because obviously you can't turn left or right while running you have to run straight and jump and turn when you're in the air. Uh, so what you'll see here, grab onto the edge here. Um, unfortunately, the rooftops on the buildings, uh, around the back of these buildings, are out of bounds. Uh, but I will show you uh, once, like the spot I said about, which is out of bounds, but it's pretty much pointless. Uh, I do believe if you jump across over these buildings here, you can probably get inbounds again, um, although it did seem to push me off there. Uh, but this is the area here, literally just in this corner. Enemies won't be able to get at you or kill you, but you can't kill anyone. It's pretty much pointless, uh, but it is pretty just funny. Uh, if you're playing hide and seek or something, if that's even a game mode you play on Battlefield 5, uh, it'd be pretty funny. Now, the next spot is a pretty short and simple one, um, but obviously you would have seen in the previous video I had to use a tractor around the front of the building to climb on the blue wooden fence panels to get up. But here you can literally just climb up from the ground uh, level um, up these three different, four, three to four different uh, ways. 
uh, and you can pretty much get up solo, no vehicle needed. You can literally do this really quick um, in any game. And I guess you want to one of the key rooftops that are that's in the center of the map, um, which is absolutely perfect because it's going to be one of the highest uh, areas of, of flow, uh, you know, where enemies are going to always be. Uh, just all people are going to be in general in that part of the map, so you can get quite a lot of kills up there, and people won't see you. Now this one, again, another tight way to get on top of the rooftops without needing to use a tractor on the other side of the uh, building. However, this one was very, very tricky and very hard. Um, you probably would take half a game to, to do this or until you practice it very, very well. But nonetheless, uh, it shows you a way to do it without a tractor. Uh, however, I would say the tractor way is still much easier. Uh, but yeah, you can just see uh, different ways to climb up onto the different lampposts uh, and then get up onto the rooftop. Uh, and it's very good. I will show you all the different places you can get onto, uh, like uh, in the previous video. And there you can see we've got up uh, onto this side of the rooftop, uh, which I don't think I did show in the previous video. Uh, and then you can just uh, think you either, can either jump normally or bayonet charge uh, across here. And therefore, we're now in the same building which I'd previously shown. Uh, and yeah, all the different buildings uh, that are in this area, you can go along all the different ledges, as well as in the center of these lower down uh, parts. And like previously shown, uh, you can use a bayonet charge to go onto the, to the buildings uh, that are further down the road uh, opposite, uh, which I will also show uh, in just a second. In this part here, I'm not 100% sure, but I was trying to see if it was possible to bayonet charge uh, from these buildings uh, to that one building across there. Uh, I missed that jump and didn't bother trying again, uh, but I think that is potentially possible there. Uh, this spot here, again, you would have seen in the previous video, I had to use a tractor to get on top of this light. And it turns out you can just use the fence. Don't know why I didn't see that in the previous video. Uh, but again, you come back with a fresh mind and you'll find out loads of new different things. Uh, I, I tried multiple times here climbing up on top of the roof. It looks like you're close enough. Uh, see, if you jump from here to the right, it looks like you've got enough height to grab on. Uh, same from this part here. Um, but, you know, I've, for some reason, I tried this hundreds of times previously and couldn't do it. First time trying it again uh, when coming back onto this map to find some more spots. Uh, and boom you can get onto the edge of the rooftops here. So again, a bit more height. Uh, and then you can jump further across uh, here on this side of these buildings. So another building uh, which you can get onto, uh, which wasn't previously shown in the previous video. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this uh, extra spot video on Provence. There's one more spot left where I thought you might be able to get on top of uh, another building. Uh, but you need the help of a vehicle to get into this uh, center of the building you'll see in just a second uh, but it turns out when you blow it up whatever way you can uh, there is no way to grab uh, up to the ledge and, and get up um, but again it's just another small spot i'm going to show uh, but yeah that pretty much covers it uh, i really hope you've enjoyed this one uh, it was really fun finding all these new spots and new easy ways to get up on top of the rooftops which makes it way more viable to use uh, during a game and uh, yeah so smash a like subscribe if you haven't subscribed already we finally hit that 500 mark which is very nice and uh, yeah i'll see you on the next video
24 hours up in the day, I gotta make it right. 18 of those, I'm in the cave, I gotta make some light, make it hype, even if we break at night. And even if things go left, we gotta make them right. Chillin' with mine, we triple up, they on the double up, triple dub. Came from the basement, we only going up, they loving us. Up in the booth, I'm getting dizzy, but they the cup is up. Toast to my people that's wanna come up, and you live with us. Ain't all about the trick of us. Looking at my watch, your spirit bomb, both hands is going up. We going coast to coast with us. See the flows is flowing, overflowing, yeah, the cup it running over tight.